Hey guys, Leonard MC here, and welcome to episode 6 of the Minecraft Survival Series. And today's episode, we're going to be doing a quick update of everything that's uh, been added to the server. And we are going to be creating a super smelter in the bunker, which is down there above my head. Hope you guys enjoy, and see you later. So, the first update is my new tools, which is a diamond pick with unfi uh, unbreaking 3 and efficiency 4, and a shovel with the exact same thing. So, yeah. So, well, actually, hang, hang on a second. Might not be better. Hang on a second. There we are. Let's have the shaders on because it makes Minecraft look so much more beautiful. Anyway, so, sh ooh, Shrimpy's house is now, I think, complete. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. The Coliseum is finally complete. And as you can see, it's fucking stunning. The wall has gotten to there. As I run around, wow, Minecraft looks absolutely beautiful in shaders. Mm mm mm. Sexy as fuck! Sherman built a house in a mail centre. Oh, lens flares. Horse farm. And bee farm. And windmill. More lens flares. Ross built a Japanese style house. Lyston built a cemetery, a, th uh, uh, a monument, and an ouch. Um, and the castle is still not built. John's house, bridge. Sherman's house, bee farm. Finally, Librex built a tower. And Ross built a holiday home. And that's the update tour. God, that thing is big. So yeah, I'll put a little card up there somewhere. And I just want to know whether I should keep shaders on for the next episode or if I should take them off. See you guys in a second. So, the idea of today's video is to build a super smelter in this little gap here. First of all, I want to replace all of that with stone and texture all up. And then I want to build the super smelter in the middle here. Now, that wall to that wall is 15 blocks so the plan is to get 15 blocks super smelter in here and then cut this wall out here and that one out there until we get it nice and symmetrical so i can have chests on that side and yeah i'm gonna snap my fingers i'll have all the supplies in the chest right there just like that see just like that instant chest full of stuff so the plan is i'm gonna use these bottom blocks here to basically make this area look nice and pretty or I'm going to build the super smelter first and then do the backing, but we don't know because I haven't done it yet, so we'll find out when I've actually done it. But basically, I'm going to have to hop between worlds, uh, what I built this in and a world, this world to sort it and build it, and I'll give you guys an update right now. And just like that, the first is the hoppers in. Okay, well that's now done, and yeah. So the main bulk of it is done now. Uh, as you can see, there's two main tracks which run around the uh, thing. Super smelter. Okay, so it's 15 furnace super smelter, each having three hoppers. So 45 hoppers was a lot of iron, but it doesn't matter because we have an iron farm. As you can see in the chest, we still have four stacks of iron blocks. That's literally just came from there. I nicked, like, that's not even half the chest. But oh my god. So, how I have to run the tracks. So, this. Outside track is the one you put all your stone, all your ores, your food in, and that runs into the hop at top of the furnaces, which is where the actual smelting block goes. And in the back runs the um, fuel. So if I grab some fuel and just dump it in here, so let's say I grab that and that, I'll throw them in there, it'll then run it up. It'll then come in and spread out evenly across here. So as you can see, it'll go into there, and it'll end up in the front like that. Okay, so now let's say I then go into the second one, which is the one where it's smelted. So we have three bits in there, so we go one, two, three. And that should then be dropped, and as you can see, those three will start up. Then it'll stop, it'll go back. It'll go back to its starting position, which is up in there. And basically what happens is, when the hopper picks up something from the chest, it then sends a resident output, which goes to this uh, clock here, which then, uh, sorry, extender here, which then goes around. That goes off, turning that off, turning the um, piston off, words, I know, turns, uh, unpowers the piston, which then sends the minecart down onto power rails around. Then when it comes back, it surprisingly just slides straight underneath it. So I am now going to decorate this to make it look a bit nicer. And ding. Okay, guys, now... This isn't done yet, but I wanted to try and get things wrapped up a bit before we get on to the next one. So, 
I think this fits in quite nicely to the whole aesthetic. I finally have a super smelter. So yeah. Bing. So one of the last things I wanted to do was set up a shop in Manx's Coliseum. And I have that potato farm and it produces roast potatoes. And I wanted to capitalize on that by setting up a small shop in his thing. And I haven't got a chest. Fuck. Okay, there we go. We have a chest. So, basically what he's done is he has converted this bottom entire section into shops. So, one of these I will set up in. I kind of want to get one of the larger ones. So this end one, something like that, and set up and build a shop. But for that, we need to set up an application. Okay, there's a baby zombie chasing me, and there are phantoms. All of you guys that voted for phantoms in this game are actual twats. All of you. Every last one of you. Oh yeah, let's get a new mob. Let's get this one. Not the ones that are nice or anything. No, no, no. That would be too easy. Far too easy. Anyways, so, we're going to set up a... Um, I meant to fall through that. Ooh, I don't know this area. It's a little minecart system there. And I can't actually get back up. Oh god. Okay, so we're going to place the chest right in the middle and put the book in there. Okay, so this book basically says a company bot company application letter Brexit and I would like to invest in a shop in your in, in your establishment so I'm asking for the prices for rent blah 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 sign that so I'm gonna put that in there and wait for his reply oh yeah so as I travel back let's just quickly go over what I want to do so my shop hopefully should get approved and then we can set that up I want to get the wall completely finished I want to carry on expanding my little medieval village. I want to create another one outside the walls because it's starting to get a bit packed in there. Whew. I want to get a bee farm going. That's something I want to do. See, there's already got one going there. Uh, super smells needs to be finished making. The storeroom needs to be completely, like, all the chests need to be labelled and sorted. Um, I want to have some fights in the Coliseum. I want this mail system to be done. Mm, that's about it at the moment, in the terms of projects, I think. I'd probably create another one so I forgot about them, but you know, that's fine. Uh, get the vault door finished. Ah, the tunnels. Get those tunnels done. So next episode, um, everything should be getting done. So I'll do some general cleanups in between. Ah, same house. So I was thinking about building my main house here. Like a big one like this, but like that. Just bigger and more ground. Um, basically because... Oh God, there's another creeper hole there. I filled that one in. Literally the same one earlier. So yeah, let's just end it right by here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys there. Bye!